Previously on the pond build, my family took this old coal mine and started transforming it into the ultimate fishing pond. Step one was to locate a good spot to put the pond. Back when this property was an operating coal mine, there actually used to be a pond right here in this big sinkhole area. But for some reason, after they stopped mining, they ripped open the dam and drained the entire pond. So we figured this would be the perfect place to start. Step two is to go through, clear out all the brush and all the trees in the bottom of the pond. That way we can see what we're working with with the bottom composition. Step three is to start digging dirt and start piling it up to make the dam. But it was on this step that we ran into our first problem. Since this was an old coal mine and they blew up a lot of rock to get to the coal, a lot of this dirt we're digging up is extremely rocky, which is considered bad dirt when building a dam. The problem with rocky dirt is that it doesn't pack together super well and the water can find its way out, which can cause a leak. Which, spoiler alert, we're gonna talk about that later in this video. Regardless, after the dam is built, the pond is technically complete. But while we're waiting on rain to come to fill it up, we're moving on to step five, which is actually adding structure and cover to the pond. Cover refers to anything that fish can relate to. That's like brush piles, logs, rocks, and even grass. You see, fish can survive in a pond with no structure but they really can't thrive. Fish use structure and cover to hide from predators and to ambush their prey. And if you want a fishing pond that can sustain healthy populations of both bait fish and predator fish, you're gonna need a lot of cover. Earlier in step three, while we were digging dirt to build the dam, we actually found a ton of giant chuck rock, which we put into points and piles, which is gonna be perfect cover. But at this point, the pond is still lacking wood cover, which is pretty important to the fish. And so for step five, I hopped in the excavator and went out through the rest of the property to find stumps, logs, and bushes that I could put in the bottom of the pond to create some woody structure. Here we go. Or at least that was the plan. It won't even start. Give me a minute, I'll figure it out. It didn't start. I heated it up for about 45 seconds and then it just, mm, 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 mm. That's all it do. Yep, well I'll try this a couple more times then. If it's drinking real slow like batteries they are used to. Let me tell you how you use speaking then. Okay. Behind the driver, no worries. No worries there. Open up that door. Now open up the front section. Uh, now there's a box, sir. It's got a green light on it. Turn that switch to make that green light come on. And then just do the same thing as the other one? Yeah. All right. There we go. That worked the way it's supposed to. All right. Now we're going to tram around and look for brush piles to pick up. And here we are guys, we are at the final spot where we're actually going to do some digging. We're gonna stretch out that thumb and then I'm gonna reach out there and I'm gonna pick through this big brush pile and see if there's something I might be able to find. And by the looks of it, I may have just found a pretty good piece. Right here, a big old tree with a big old stump. That is gonna be perfect. Let's see what else we can find. And so now that I have a few stumps picked out, I'm gonna try to get all the dirt off of them as possible. That way we can really have the whole root system working for us. And you've just seen the power of this excavator, but now hopefully we're gonna get to see the finesse that these things are also capable of. Where I can just pick it up and gently shake it. Try to get all the dirt out of the roots. And then now that it's clean, I'll bring it over here and set it right here. Now let's go back over and shake out the other one. Bring it right here and set her down. And if I'm lucky, I might be able to finesse my way in there and be able to carry them both back in one trip. This is perfect, guys. Sweet. So now let's carry it back to the pond and uh, we'll put them where we want them. This is awesome. All right, there we go. We got our first load of wood. That's uh, two logs and two stumps. Now we're gonna be putting a lot more wood in here. So where exactly we put these isn't gonna matter the most. But I'm thinking for this first load, we'll dump them right over there in that little hole. Grab some of these rocks, put on top of them so that they, they don't float away. By golly, right there's our first load of logs in the pond. And now we will repeat that process 20 more times. Fuck 
from KC this winter, would you like to try a mom by a mom wing special? I'll take a number one with fries. What would you like to drink for that? Uh, Sierra Mist. Does that look like french fries to you? Ah! After structure and covers taken care of, it's time for step six, which is patiently waiting for rain so that this pond can fill up. And after 60 long days, the rain finally came. to today. The pond is at max capacity with the water. And it's even successfully draining out of the pipe. As you look out at the pond, it's a pretty good sized pond, but there is a few problems. The first problem and the most noticeable problem is that we have some floating trees out there. Now, I don't know if y'all know me or not, but like, I'm just like a dude from Kentucky. I'm not the smartest person in the world. For some reason, back in step five, whenever I was putting all the trees in the bottom of the pond, I didn't really consider that they would actually float. And they floated, so <laughs> I don't really have a solution for this. But long story short, what I should have done looking back on it is after I put the logs in the bottom of the pond, I should have took a few rocks and set up on top of them, which I did on a few logs, but obviously, not all of them. To fix that problem, I can either go in, grab those logs, and just drag them out, or I could even take some really heavy weights, tie to the logs, and try to sink them. Those are really giant logs, and you're gonna need a ton of weight, so I don't actually know how we're gonna solve that solution yet. But that's the least of our worries. The biggest problem is that just as we had the suspicions in episode one of having bad dirt that could potentially leak, unfortunately, that is exactly what happened. Now what I'm about to show you is how ponds are supposed to work. This is where the water comes from. It comes off the mountain, down this creek, and into the top of the pond. The water collects in the pond itself, and then whenever the water level reaches a certain point, which is up to this pop, the water flows out the pop, goes down the creek, and out the other side of the pond. Now that's how a perfect pond works. New water's coming in, old water's going out. But unfortunately, we have water going out in another spot. And it's right down here on the bottom right of the dam. And this is really bad for a couple reasons. One, extra water is seeping out of the pond. But two, it's seeping out below the water level that we want the pond to stay at. Which means if we don't do something to fix that leak, this water level is gonna gradually just fall, 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 until it reaches the depth where the leak is. Which could potentially literally drain the pond because we do not know how deep the leak actually is. And so that brings us on to step seven, how do you fix a leak? And we have a couple different tricks up her sleeve but for now we gotta drain the pond and find out exactly where the leak is oh no oh no that is not good oh goodness no way no guys i have really really bad news for the pond so long story short we were going to come out here and drain the pond like i mentioned in the last clip but we wanted to wait a few days because it's going to come a big rain and something pretty terrible actually just happened awesome you know full of water but the pond dam broke here we have a big fall i don't really know what to even think about it but that's going on over here's the real bad one the pop is somehow out of the ground so this is actually really bad like i don't know if y'all understand but like this ain't good you know so what happened is somehow the water rose which is all good but it stopped going out of the pot and it just broke the dam and figured out that was the best way to go but what in the world made this pop buck up like that and it looks like our emergency spillway for some reason you can see it flowed a little bit but after so much the emergency spillway just wasn't enough hmm. i might tell dad he might be able to do something but as for me i don't really know what to do See the problem, what caused it, don't you? Mm hmm. See that the big stump floated from up there and blocked the pipe. Mm hmm.
it is the next day and everything's actually looking pretty good as for the pond dam back here behind me they fixed it they put more dirt to fill in the spots where it washed away right back here at the pop they pushed it back down filled it full of dirt all on the top of that and then right there on the other side of the pop they fixed the spillway so day one update after the pond dam broke here it is Right, guys we're officially on the pond i guess this is like the first time we're actually floating on the pond it's a little weird if you hear something flying it's because there's a drone above me regardless solution a solution b two different kinds of powders let's go ahead and check it out we'll cut it open and basically i have to spread these equally across the pond the way it works throw it in the water it gets in the water water seeps out this stuff actually expands stops up the hole we'll see how it goes basically here's how it works Scoop of solution A, throw it on the pond. Scoop of solution B, throw it on top of solution A. We do this until all 100 pounds is gone and hopefully this place will be fixed up. Here we go. guys it's day six after putting that powder stuff in the pond as i walk down the dam to where the leak is you can still see it's pretty wet through here and we still have a stream of water coming right in here but what's important is that the stream of water is smaller than it's ever been before so as of day six the leak is definitely not stopped yet but i have noticed a significant decrease in how much it's actually leaking maybe that's a good sign we'll just have to wait a few more days and see for sure all right guys it has been about 20 days since we did that you can look back there behind me we actually just had a massive rain and so i don't know water's coming down i guess the pond is full i'm actually going to step over here and take a look at the leak i've not really looked at it much since we put that stuff in it this right here is the area with the leak you can actually still see some water running and by golly right here's a leak right there i didn't even notice that that's just water coming straight out of the ground going out from the below the pond and out right here and uh yeah still pretty muddy so i mean it's supposed to take 30 days for it to completely do what it's going to do so let's give it this last 10 and i guess fingers crossed let's hope for the best because as of right now the leak is not fixed all right so it is day 247 since we started building the pond and as you can see back here by me we're actually starting to drain it now i've been sick the last couple days so that's why i wasn't actually able to get out here and film the first parts of them draining it but long story short the leak never stopped and since my dad's the one that's actually helping fix the leak and stuff he wasn't able to come and work on this until now and once we drain the water down enough we're gonna start doing some things to fix the leak now just looking at the pond right now the water level's already been jerked down a quite a bit in just a couple days so that's not bad it's pretty good progress this is like the lowest it's been in a pretty long time i guess i'll touch on this more in the next video but i think i got a little too excited in this video where i put a ton of trees out there and they're actually problems so at least we get a second chance we get to go in there and actually take them out because those do not need to be there but yeah comment below if you have any questions about the pond next video i'll try to answer them